Okay, in this video we are going to look at resistive inductive high pass filters. Um, in the last video we looked at our RL low pass filters and just a little recap of that visual mnemonic that we have been using to tell our high pass from our low pass. Our resistors look kind of like jagged mountain range and our inductors look more like rolling hills. So we know that mountains are higher than hills and when we have our resistor like it is here in series with the output we know that it is a high pass filter because the um, resistor is the visual representation of our mountain and our inductor is the visual representation of our rolling hills and so mountains are higher than hills this is a high pass filter just a little recap on that okay so we're going to roll over uh, frequency cutoff again, um, and then we're also going to look at half PowerPoint. It should be a pretty quick one. Okay, frequency cutoff, as we know, is that FCO, um, and it is, again, resistance over 2 pi times inductance. Now I will say um, one quick thing about this. When you are putting it into your calculator, if you are not doing um, the 2 pi times 92 milli before you take 17 over that, then you are going to get the wrong answer every time. You can do it a couple of different ways. You can separate um, it out by parentheses, or um, you can do that bottom portion and then just type in 17k divided by answer. So either way would work. Um, just keep in mind that you do need to do the bottom together first before you take 17 over it. Okay. And we get a total uh, frequency of 29.42 kHz. I'm going to put that over in our circuit there. So once again, that is our cutoff point. And this is a high-pass filter. So it is going to have a usable voltage at, at 29.42 kHz and above. And then we will have a non-usable voltage at um, any frequency below 29.42 kHz. All right, um, so half power point again, it's a voltage measurement, and it's abbreviated with that HPP. And all we do is take incoming voltage and multiply it by 70.7%. So in this case, we have 50 volts, or 55 volts, I'm sorry. We multiply that by 0.707, or 70.7%, whichever you like best for your calculator, and you get 38.89 volts. So that is the start of usable voltage. And in this particular filter, it is a high-pass filter, so the higher um, the frequency goes, the higher that voltage will go until it reaches a total of 55. So, um, and then, of course, the lower that frequency goes, the lower it will get. And once it drops below 38.89 volts, we would consider that an ineffective filter because um, it was below usable voltage. All right, and that is it for an RL high-pass filter. Next, we are going to look at RC filters.